Hello Cancer and welcome to your February reading. I've been meditating on your cards and it seems there is um, some kind of disruptive energy trying to block your path um, but I believe that there are ways and means around that energy. Um, if you haven't already I would really appreciate if you liked and subscribed. Um, please remember these readings are general and they will not resonate with everybody or not all parts of the reading will resonate with you. Thank you, Spirit. We have the Six of Swords. And just please give me the energy for February for Cancer. Thank you. We have the Two of Swords and the Four. Thank you, Angels. Wow, that's quite a lot. I'll pull again. Spirit, please put the energy and the clarity in the cards of Cancer today. Thank you. We have the King of Cups. One of your cards, Cancer. Angels, please give me clear guidance for Cancer for February. Thank you. The Ten of Cups, that came out in meditation for you, Cancer. Next three cards now. Thank you. Oops. So I have three cards, the Temperance, the Seven of Pentacles, and also the Six of Pentacles. Okay, let's have a look at this energy for you, Cancer. Oops. So, the Six of Swords brings uh, an awareness to me that you are leaving something behind. There is something being cut out from your life and um, you are progressing forward in a much more uh, stable and clear way. You're aware uh, of what hasn't worked. You're moving away from that which is toxic um, and you have the hopes of building again on karma shores. Um, we have the Two of Swords Again, a, a mental energy, which tells me that there's been a kind of split mind, if you like. It tells me that you've been in two minds about certain things. And um, it definitely has kind of an emotional base. It has a base that is wrapped up in um, your desires, if you like. Um, things that perhaps don't naturally come out in your daily life, things that remain um, underneath or inside. And so you've been put into a position now where you have to make a choice. And then we have the Fool. The Fool card is lovely coming after these two because it shows me that this new start is born out of faith. It's born out of an inner knowing that there is more out there for you. I really like the fact that this girl has um, an amethyst in her hand. An amethyst is a stone of spirituality and mental clarity. So coming after the swords here, which are about your mental clarity and processes, um, I, it's very hopeful, it's full of promise, this card. And it's a journey of self-discovery, yet another layer of self. Then we have the King of Cups. As I say, uh, your card, Cancer, it's very much uh, a card of somebody who is quite wise emotionally. Um, perhaps he's a little romantic, perhaps um, he's, you know, he, he wears the rose-coloured spectacles sometimes, but there's also um, a wisdom in, in heart matters. There's a wisdom um, to do with relationship, to do with how... Um, you interact with other people and so this self-knowledge is um, becoming refined 
with the King of Cups. Then I have the Ten of Cups. I uh, really love seeing this card in your reading, Cancer. The Ten of Cups is about emotional and spiritual abundance. Um, kind of happy families, everything that you could desire. Coming under the Six of Swords, it tells me that the move that you're making is the right one, essentially, because this is the process it is taking you to this point. We have Temperance. Now, temperance is an interesting card as it has um, various meanings in, in, in different settings, in different uh, reads. It talks about a, an alchemy of the soul bringing both the emotional and the physical together. Um, sometimes also the, you know, the, the practical side of life and your desires and things like that. It's a, a spiritual alchemy. It's um, an angelic um, kind of guidance and assurance that the work we do within uh, will reap um, rewards for us in the end. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Again, another card about rewards. To confirm the temperance, you have done a certain amount of work and, and, and reaped the rewards, but perhaps there's a slight dissatisfaction. Maybe things didn't turn out exactly how you um, envisaged. And I feel that there, you know, there is a reason you're moving on. You're moving on to create more of these pentacles, to create more stability and to get that which you desire. Now, alongside that, we have the Six of Pentacles, which talks about a sharing. And this sharing is like a recognition of the input. Um, and it's also a redress and a rebalance. So somebody is either going to come along and give you that financial or um, practical support, or you're going to get what you deserve. There's, there's some sort of um, sharing of uh, abundance, sharing of uh, capital maybe, sharing of um, resources. I'm going to clarify these cards now. First off, I'll start with the Six of Swords. Clarifying the Six of Swords for Cancer. This one's jumping out. Oh, okay, now I know why. So we have the Ace of Wands, which speaks about a passionate new start, and it's to confirm your journey onwards here. And the second card that wanted to come out was the High Priestess. So this is definitely something very instinctive, something that is on your life path. Uh, you're moving forward with a, a very strong intuition. Clarifying the Two of Swords now. Thank you. Ah. Two of Swords is clarified by the Justice card, which kind of brings balance. Now, in the original deck, the Two of Swords is shown by a lady sitting with two swords, um, kind of trying to make a decision. And I like the correlation here about the kind of the balance uh, with the scales. And if you look very carefully on the arm of this lady, she also has the kind of cross of the swords or seemingly a scale. So the justice is coming in for you. I think there is a uh, an understanding and a clarity coming to you where um, justice will will be coming into your life. Clarifying the Fool card now. Okay. Mm. The Eight of Pentacles, Cancer. This speaks about um, a mastery level of work. You're focusing on something that you're passionate about. Um, you being able to concentrate your efforts on something that you enjoy. So coming under the Fool card or over the Fool card, it tells me that, again, this is a process of you becoming, if you like. I'm going to clarify the King of Cups now. Thank you. So over the King of Cups, we have the Seven of Swords, which traditionally talks about deception or trickery, um, but it, it can also be self-illusion. But in this card, you see the gentleman is getting away with the swords, the swords indicating um, clarity or wisdom. So I think that you're um, 
becoming um, more refined, your understanding of self. And then the second card out was the King of Swords, which um, kind of reiterates that fact that, you know, the, the wisdom and the clarity is yours now. I'm going to clarify the Ten of Cups. Oops. Oh, lovely. So I have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is about a new offer, uh, somebody coming in perhaps with a romantic offer or at least one that is supportive and sustaining. And so there does seem to be a, a new energy coming in for you, Cancer. It could well be a friend. It could be on a relationship basis, depending on your circumstances. But it's definitely one that is nourishing. Clarifying the temperance card now. <laughs> okay. I do love the cards. So we have the uh, Six of Pentacles. Uh, so it's a repeat. So the temperance is about gaining a, a, a balance, as I said, between the physical and the spiritual. And the Six of Pentacles is here to confirm that that balance will be achieved. And the second card that came out was the Beautiful Sun, which is also um, sustaining and satisfying and nourishing. So um, you will get your balance, Cancer. You will get that which you need to move forward. Clarifying the Seven of Pentacles, thank you for Cancer. Now, we have the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands is a kind of very tired looking card. It talks about um, the stresses and the strains and the uh, tiring experiences that we've been through. And the Ten indicates that we're at the end of this cycle now. And although you may not feel or see it, on the horizon there is respite, there is rest and recuperation and so although you've built your seven pentacles and you kind of feel like you can't go on maybe it will move on for you and you will have um, a new start here okay clarifying the six of pentacles now <laughs> and we uh, end with what we began with the six of swords so there we are we have the uh, person traveling in the boat with a child, child either denoting um, a, a physical being, a, a, you know, a little person, <laughs> or a little project of yours, a new vision or a dream that you have. So over the Six of Pentacles, it kind of shows me that you're heading towards the balance, you're heading towards this um, reparation of imbalance where you've been. I'm going to draw you a couple of advice cards now. And... Um, I'll see, thank you, wow, um, what it has to say. Thank you, okay. So I'll do the first card which talks about the mental processes and it talks about control, it talks about maybe trying to release the feeling that you can control everything, that, that that's what is needed. Sometimes you kind of need to go with the flow and to try and keep hold of control so much actually blocks the energy coming towards you it blocks um, your blessings sometimes and to back that up we also have the possibilities card now this card if you see has the eagle looking over the horizon and the sun is rising over the horizon and i really like the fact that we've got this the double sun here and the possibilities shows me that um, kind of the world is your oyster you do have the potential to uh, to create much more and um, it will be on the landscape in front of you if you can maybe relax and watch it coming I'm going to pull you an outcome card now Cancer Please show me an outcome for February. Oof, thank you. There are four here. I'm just going to take a look. <laughs> okay. I'm going to take these two. I think this is what is intended here, given the reading. So we have the two of ones, which talks about um, the possibilities and potential, looking towards the horizon and dreaming about your future, what you're going to do and how you're going to do it. And if you see the world there, um, it kind of indicates that the world is your oyster. And then the Nine of Pentacles 
confirms to me that you will reach a stage where you will be able to share of self, be it financially or in terms of resources or in terms of your knowledge and, um, and what is innate within you. So Cancer, you are moving towards a more um, integral um, pathway, one where you will share of yourself uh, with integrity. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.